Hello, Tim Manley here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my first close encounter with a tiger and seven tips on how to photograph tiger. To look for a wild tiger in India has a very special meaning to me. When I was five years old, my grandmother told me a story. She used to work in the post office and back in the days in China, they have to walk a long way to deliver the mails and they might have to walk through mountains and forest. One time she and some of her colleagues were carrying this big package of mails. They were walking in the forest and then they came face to face with a wild tiger. She thought she's gonna die. They didn't dare to look at the tiger. They all looked down. Turn out the tiger just walked past them as if nothing happened. So they continued to walk and within half a mile, they saw a carcass. I always remember this story. And finally, I went to India last month to look for tigers. They have this morning drive and evening drive and each one is about four hours. For the first five drives, we didn't see anything. That was 20 hours without anything. So the first lesson for tiger photography is you gotta be patient. And my mantra is always expect the worst and prepare for the best. On our sixth drive, that was uh, a morning. Just a few minutes after we got into the park, the guy said, I immediately grabbed my 600. Wait, wait, wait. And then I said, oh, you just went back to the grass. I stood up from the open dog jeep and I just looked at I saw this. I said, yes. He quickly disappeared in the tall grass. We waited for another 30 minutes and then the tiger came out. And this is a shot I took. I said, yes. I saw a wild tiger. And then he walked back into the tall grass. And our driver just drove suddenly to the front, maybe 100 feet, and he suddenly stopped. And I looked, the tiger was in an elevated slope and he was walking right towards us. I said, oh shit, this is real. <laughs> the tiger was walking towards us. To say that I'm not scared would be a lie. The last time I photographed a wild cat, it was a bobcat kitten. It was probably less than 10 pounds. And this wild cat in front of me is probably 600 pounds, about 10 feet long. I kept trying to focus with my 600 and I was feeling unease. He didn't look too happy. And I immediately changed to, to a 400 because he was getting really close. So this is a shot when he was just walking uh, outside the tall grass. I saw that he was looking up a little bit and I said, okay, I got my shot. It was a clean background. It was very difficult to get a clean background for tigers. So that's why I brought my 400 2.8 and I got my 600 f4 with the 1.4 teleconverter hoping to throw away the background to get more isolation and for a second I think he was just probably 5 to 10 feet right behind us in the car and I grabbed this shot and then he just walked behind us and then uh, he walked further and further away and then I used my 600 and just hoping that uh, he will look back And another lesson that I want to share with you is in those situations it was overcast and the light was changing all the time. I really didn't have time to do manual exposure. So I set auto ISO plus two thirds of a stop. When the tiger was walking towards us and when the tiger was standing up right there, there was almost two stop difference in light. And if you set manual exposure, all these photos on the second half would be severely underexposed. He never looked back, but then all of a sudden he stopped by a tree that our guide later told us that is called a ghost tree because of the color. He, he was doing something very interesting. My instinct told me to immediately throw away my 600 and grab my 400 because I knew that something is gonna happen. He started to rise up and then I was trying to focus on it. Even with my 400, it is too much of a lens. So I just switched my camera to vertical and I barely grabbed that shot. He suddenly looked at us. The tiger gave us this look, uh, which I'll never forget. It was taken at f3.2, it was supposed to be f2.8, but the heat of action, I misdialed it to 3.2. Even though grandma is no longer with me, I believe she could still see through my eyes and I hope she could see this tiger. I feel privileged to be able to share this experience with you. I hope you enjoy my first close encounter with tiger. Leave your comment down here. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for your support.